this is Audi's latest offering for the Indian market. It's the new Q3 with the 2 liter TFSI engine. The 2 liter TFSI engine is the 1998cc turbocharged petrol engine. The Q3 now is a stunning SUV, one of the nicest looking SUVs in this segment. It's a fairly large car, however, despite it being in the entry compact premium SUV segment. It's fairly long, 4.4 meters in length, so that means there's a lot of space inside the cabin. <clears throat> However, the roof line is low, it looks almost like an estate if you view it on a side profile. Design details, a nice clean, very Teutonic, nice big traditional grill, trapezoidal headlamps. Uh, interestingly, there's a lot of, uh, it takes the projector headlamps, you can see that close there. And uh, there's minimal, or rather no use, not much use of LEDs in this, like we've seen in the new Q7 and uh, the Q5. This of course is the S-Line edition. It's the badge there. Nice, nice alloys uh, on this SUV as well. And uh, you can see that's the tire spec, 19 inch uh, alloys and tires. Now the 2-litre turbocharged petrol that's on this vehicle uh, makes around 211 horsepower with 300 mm of max torque. It's a fairly, fairly quick SUV. It does a 0 to 100 in about 6.9 seconds. Uh, that, however, is a claimed figure from Audi. And uh, we still have to test this vehicle. It should be on the roads pretty soon. But as soon as we test it, uh, we'll have the actual figures in Indian conditions for you. It will be targeted against the X1 uh, and dare I say it, this is a tastier looking SUV than the X1. We expect it to be as performance oriented or better in fact because it's got Quattro technology as well and, and the engines, well, the engine is pretty dynamic. Uh, there's a 7 speed uh, transmission, 7 speed automatic transmission. Mm. What else can I tell you about this? The interior as well, they're like any other Rowdy. Uh, Spick and span, a little Germanic, a little clinical in detail, but uh, the comfortable interiors, there's a lot of space inside, a uh, pretty large boot as well. Overall, this should again uh, help Audi drive the volumes in the SUV segment, in the premium SUV segment. We expect it to do pretty well. Just as well as the Q7 and Q5 are doing in the Indian market right now.